off-grid solar is becoming an increasingly important source of power for many communities in the Solomon Islands. The government began extending solar power to isolated villages in the west of Malaita province in 2013. When I didn't have solar panels, we used kerosene for lighting. Now I have solar. I find it easier for my children to study in the evenings, and it helps us by not needing to buy kerosene, so it definitely helps. But keeping the solar power running is no easy task. With maintenance engineers often days away and expensive to bring in, training people from the local community seem to be the answer. Now, 20 women and men from the remote western part of Malaita province have been trained in the capital Honiara in basic solar panel maintenance. The training means new skills for those involved. I was interested to attend the solar training because now I know if the panels are good or not. I know the parts that aren't working and I can fix them. So some of the women plan to put their newly acquired knowledge to good use by starting their own solar panel maintenance businesses in villages. I can, spin. I can certainly make my own business now. I am trained and I understand how everything works and what needs replacing. I can work to help those with problems in their solar power systems. The income will surely help me and my family, and it will be quicker for people to get repairs. The training is ongoing, and there are plans to extend it to communities with solar panels in Isabel, Choi Sul, and North Malaita Islands. The training was part of a pilot being undertaken through the Pacific Private Sector Development Initiative is co-financed by the ADB, the Government of Australia and the New Zealand Government.